basically, uh, this is how we rate upcoming projects. And again, we do upcoming projects for Cardano, Ethereum, and Solana. At netiart.io. Yes, absolutely. And John, if you want to talk about basically what we do to verify these collections and ratings. Sure. So, you know, those four key categories, right? First one's verified. Um, you know, which involves, you know, the founder creator's name and social links will need to be displayed uh, on the NFT website to earn this rating. Second one is originality. Um, you know, an NFT project that displays a unique design or characters will earn this rating. Um, it is, you know, not as objective. There is a little bit of subjectivity to that. Yeah. But again, you know, yeah, and we're, and we're doing that because think of like, again, like if you're new to the space and you probably, let's say you weren't aware of like cool cats, right? Or you weren't aware of long necked ladies and we see a collection that's very similar. Uh, basically, we will not give it a rating for they don't uh, get a, originality. They don't get a star for that. Yeah. But here's an interesting twist in that story, right? Because if derivative projects can't earn a rating yes. for originality... Right. But what if yes. they get verified by OpenSea like expansion punks or Oxapes have been verified by OpenSea? Yeah. And I think, you know, the um, the issues over, uh, you know, copyright. So, so have been have been sort of settled. So so for instance, it, on Netty, um, expansion punks would get a verified right if they had the link to the creators and all that, they could get that verification. But all we're really indicating again is, is this an original piece from the creators or was this regenerated or anything like that? Good, right. good distinction there. So then we move on to, you know, roadmap, right? Um, <clears throat> you know, everybody's kind of familiar with the roadmap is really um, just a chart or a layout of what the um, creators of the project are going to, you know, do after the launch, right? Yeah, so correct. growth milestones, um, the utility that yeah, they're going to be offering additional, yeah. you know, projects or giveaways or whatever is in the future for that collection, giving the buyer, uh, some, um, transparency into what's going to happen. Like, yeah. uh, drops, tokens, gaming, right? All these things get added in the roadmap. And then the last thing is social presence, right? Um, Collections will have to have a website and um, they have to be included on social media platforms such as Discord, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, YouTube to, 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 to get this rating. And the idea is that there are multiple touch points, right? Because we're yeah. really trying to establish this credibility. Um, you know, uh, NFTs, crypto, webs, you know, Web 3.0, there is always this uh, trust gap, right? How do you trust that an NFT collection that you're buying into is legitimate. And that's the whole purpose by having, you know, four different touch points. Yeah. Yeah. And that. again, we're, what we're trying to do is again, uh, Netty art is a platform created by collectors for collectors. We're trying to save you time. So we know that there's tons of projects that are releasing every week. And basically by you quickly going to our platform and checking if a project is verified, if it's uh, original, does it have a roadmap and social presence basically helps you to, uh, you know, curate which collections you actually are interested that you want to dive deep into their discord and all that. Right. But imagine looking at a collection where you say, okay, this is not original. This doesn't have a roadmap and uh, they don't have any, you know, anything on social. <laughs> so right. long, you know, so, you know, the shortcut to that is your friend uh, sends you a, a DM on uh, discord or texts you and says, Hey, buy, buy into this collection it's going to make so much money. And then, you know, you're DYOR-ing, doing your own research, which yeah. you have to do. If you don't do your own research, please stop watching the podcast. <laughs> um, it's a part of that process of doing your own research. Yes, yes. Nettyart.io yeah. is a, a resource in that process. And, and so, you know, it's a touch point to verify and to validate. Absolutely. So, yeah, that's our Netty ratings.